Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome to the channel. My name is Lindsay, and this is Life with Lindsay. Today, we have an unboxing. Um, this unboxing comes to us from Lola Rose Diamonds. If you have not seen any of my other unboxings, I will link them throughout the video. Uh, I'll link the first one up here in the eye. Um, this is a little bit of a sneak peek as to what's to come. Uh, if you are new here, hi, welcome. My name is Lindsay. I do mainly diamond painting and other crafting related content. I would love for you to like, subscribe, hit the bell, hop aboard the Hot Mess Express. Let's be friends. If you've been here before, hi, welcome. Thanks for coming back. So I am super, super excited. Uh, I have unboxed a handful of canvases from this company. Lola Rose Diamonds is a U.S. based cus cup company words are hard you guys it is owned by one of our own in the diamond painting community may lynn this is one of the five canvases that will be dropping live on april 11th on her website she is based in the u.s she ships from the u.s she is a small business before i get super into the unboxing please keep in mind um if you are upset with the price of shipping, she is a regular person who does not have a shipping contract the way some of these major ship major companies do. The price of diamond paintings to ship, it is not cheap. So please do keep that in mind. Um, if you are trying to ship internationally, also keep that in mind. I'm not sure what country she does ship to, but if that's something you were interested in, uh, just shoot her a message. So without further ado, let's get into this. I love what she's done. I'm making sure I did not block out my address because, um, I don't know why. I don't know why. So just to make sure I'm not putting that out on the screen. Not that I don't love you guys, but I don't need you to know where I live. Whew. And I just saw a couple other small independent diamond painting companies talking about how USPS put a long package fee i don't know what it's officially called on to packages over a certain length and they are charging an additional fee please keep in mind if you are purchasing from any small business diamond painting or otherwise they do not control the shipping costs sorry so if i am not mistaken um this is from her last manufacturer and that is why it is not in a box this round. Uh, I believe everything from here on out will be. If I am wrong, Maylin, please click, correct me down in the, the comments down below. Um, but I will tell you, Maylin and I were chatting and she said to me she's disappointed with the amount of ABs that they are including into their renderings. So she is sending everybody like these little goodie bags. So without further ado, let's get into this. Um, if you have never er purchased from Lola Rose Diamonds, I'm telling you guys, you're missing out here. Maylin has, uh, acquired licensing through Shutterstock for all of her images. She works with a manufacturer overseas. They ship all of the final product to her, and then she ships them to you. So... <laughs> If you saw any of her sneak peeks, it should be absolutely no surprise to you that we are unboxing Alice in Waterland. Ah, she's so cute, you guys. Look at her. She is a 70 by 70. She's going to be a round drill canvas. She has 35 colors. Um, and this includes one, two ABs that are included, plus whatever is in that bag. Um, the symbols this time around are very varied. Let's see. Anything that would be super confusing. Only one arrow. There's like an arrow into the corner, but that is not a vertical or horizontal arrow. So that's exciting. Um, these canvases are soft back. I will open up the drills as well. I'm going to roll her backwards off camera. So, uh, you guys don't have to watch me struggle. If you are new to diamond painting and you're like, what do you mean? rolling it backwards poured glue canvases can be rolled the opposite direction in which they were packaged the adhesive allows it to do that without damaging it please do not do that to a canvas that is a double-sided adhesive or a mounted film adhesive those are not meant to go the other way okay so she is big she's 70 by 70 sorry if my audio is trailing because i just had this right on top of my face ah, ha, ha. 
<laughs> look at her face. Oh my God, you guys. Look at that face. Like, can we just talk about that? She is so stinking cute. So, Malin just scours different images on Shutterstock. She buys the licensing for them. And she is allowed to uh, use them for commercial use. So, I'm going to just zoom you guys out. Oh, that's in. Um, maybe. Okay, well, that's as much as I can zoom out. Maybe if I, let's, there we go. I had to turn off the flash, so I'll probably have to turn the flash back on manually afterwards. But just so you guys can get an idea of how big she is. She is, I got my measuring tape here. She's a big end. She's 70 by 70, so it's a really nice size. It is square in shape, even though it is a round drill canvas, so please don't think you're getting a square drill canvas when I say that it is square in shape. This is a nick below 70. Do do. And about 70 and a half. So I would say that is right on the money. This is a very clear. You guys see this? Probably not because I zoomed out. Oh, blurry. Look at these symbols. Oh my gosh. So you will see here, there's a thumbnail, the name of the canvas, the size. It is legally licensed. Um, there is branding on this corner here. There are two legends, one on the bottom right, one on the top left. But look at her. First of all, if you didn't know, I'm obsessed with Alice in Wonderland, obviously. Um, those who know, know. <laughs> She's so cute, you guys. Uh, and I can see, like, her dress right here underwater with the chain for her pocket watch. Here's a little white rabbit floating through and the key. This is super cute. Uh, the checkerboard on the floor. Lots and lots of color blocking. You guys, this is going to be adorable. Um, let's flip her over and I will get the drills out. Okay, so I actually turned the flashback on. Hopefully that helps. It does say here, Alice in Waterland, which is the name of the canvas. So if you do like to store your baggies separate from your canvas, you can absolutely do that. Um, this does come with a toolkit inside. It is pre-bagged. I have done a few canvases from Lola Rose. I completed the Eye of the Cat was the first one I did. I'll leave the post review for that one up there in the eye for you guys. Um, Malin has just been picking out like beautiful images and ho ho ho. That is, you guys, that is loaded. Like there is no air in that. Uh, <laughs> that is a beautiful color. I'm a really big fan of like mint colors. But we've got lots of blues. So these are obviously all done by weight. Because they're all different sizes. So vibrant. So the number uh, is on the bag, not the DMC. But you have your inventory sheet here. You can put it through your Xyron sticker maker. You can make a copy of it on your computer. Whatever it is that you want to do. And then you would just look. So this is 33. And you would know 33 is DMC 3849. Let's see. Let's find a dark color in here. This is our 310. The quality looks nice. I don't really see any imperfections in here. Let's see. We had two ABs that came with the kit. I don't want to pull all of the drills out because they're... There we go. Woohoo! If you do not know what an AB is, it is an Aurora Borealis. You can see it has this super shiny holographic looking coating on it. It reflects the colors around it. And this is number six. So this is a 712 AB. So I think 712 is considered like a cream color. Um, and you can see it has that nice shiny coating on it. Um, let me show you guys the toolkit that came with it. It is a basic toolkit. You have a pair of angled tweezers, a big pad of wax, a boat, a pen with a multiplacer, and some baggies. Um, let's check the special drills that... Malin sent us and uh we'll let me pack this up and i'll be right back okay so we are back this is super oh wow oh wow okay so there's a lot more in here than i was expecting 
girl. Oh my gosh. You guys, so this is a cute little like Alice in Wonderland style tea, stack of teacups sticker. Shut up. Look at this teapot. This is a pin. Or if you guys wanted to cut the back off and turn it into a minder, you could. Um, what is this? Is this a keychain? <gasps> Did she send me a keychain? You guys, I love it. This is why we need to support within our own community. Oh. Oh my God. Maylin. You guys, look at this. So you've got the clock. You've got the Cheshire Cat. You've got the White Rabbit. You've got the little mushroom. This is so cute. And then the playing cards. Sorry, they got stuck. I'm going to put this on my keys. This is so cute, you guys. Also, if you're into ASMR, like... Got some good noise for you. If you're into ASMR, I do have a very... Very lo-fi ASMR. I'll link that up in the description. In the, in the eye. You guys, words are really hard today. Um, I do not claim to be an ASMR artist, but I did an ASMR video. So, it says, Lola Rose Diamonds Special Diamond Treatment. We have selected to include extra AB drills for your kit. Please check on the back of the drills for the DMC we suggest. You are welcome to use them however you like. So, in this kit, oh, we got another sticker. Little Cheshire cat. Cute. So this is, in case I didn't say this, this is like a container for you to put your wax in. That is, you could put like the little round waxes in there. Uh, you can mush up the squares, whatever it is that you want to do. Or you can use it to store trash. And then this also came with a really cute little crowns and polka dots, some washi. So we got sent five holy moly five colors you guys holy crap these are amazing so we have this beautiful blue which she suggests using for dmc 800 which is the asterisk this one is 902 which is letter r this guy is 905 which is for letter z this is a 310 um if you've never worked with 310 ab 310 flips very blue and green so a lot of people don't like to use it in place of like hard lines like outlines of faces things like that but this might be really cool for the underwater effect on the mad hatter's hat um and then this brown which is dmc 780 that is super super cool i am going to bring the canvas back Show you guys up close what this, the symbols look like and where these are being recommended. We put them. Okay, so we are back. So, in the, uh, as Mrs. Coffee calls it, the movie magic, in the time between me showing you these and me putting this on the screen, I actually put the symbols of the DMCs from the um, inventory sheet right on here. So, this one right here is a recommendation for the equal sign. So, that would be... All of this down here in the starfish. Um, some of it is in her hair. Down the very bottom with like the coral and the sand kind of thing. 310. 310, anywhere you see black. So all of the Mad Hatter's hat. You've got her bow. You've got the stripes in her socks. You've got her shoes. Um, lots of little details down here. The checkerboard on... Let's see if I can get this in frame. Ooh! I just lost a bunch of stuff. Um, whoops. All right. I'm trying to do this. My ring light is right here, so I can't push the canvas this way. Um, but in the black part of the checkerboard, that also has that. The Z is here in the greenery. You can see in, like, the C plants, which would look really cool. Um... And then in this one down here as well, let's see, the R, the R is this maroon symbol here that's in the, the starfish, um, down over here by the Mad Hatter's hat again, um, and again on his, so this is like the ribbon that goes, I've got a really bad glare, there, there you go. So it goes around his hat and then it comes up like the backside. And then the asterisk is blue. Let's see. My guess is it's going to be sky. 
not Sky from Paw Patrol, for any of my young parent friends out there. Let's see. Yep. So all of this, this lightness in the sky, that is all recommended to put in for those. So I dropped two of these on the floor. Um, unfortunately, that's where they're going to have to stay right now. <laughs> what do you guys think? Have you purchased a Lola Rose canvas yet? Um, I am super excited for this. Obviously, I knew this was coming. Um, I love this. I am so happy that I'm able to do a sneak peek. Let's straighten you guys up a little bit. To do a little bit of a sneak peek here for you. Again, I'll put all the details down in the description. But the new releases, there are five of them. They do uh, drop on the website, on Lola Rose website, lolarosediamonds.com. That will be April 11th, 2022. If you have not checked out Miranda from Diamond Painting with the Besties, she unboxed one of the other ones. I will link hers up in the eye and put it in the description box um, down below. I hope that you guys enjoy this as much as I do. She is so, so sweet, both Alice and Malin. Um, and a huge... Huge thank you to Malin for always thinking of me and asking me if I would want to unbox her canvases for you guys. I absolutely love what she's doing. And I think it's really big that we have someone within our community doing this. There are other small and independent art diamond painting companies out there. And honestly, like, I love what everyone is doing. It's so satisfying and gratifying to see one of our own one of the the women in our community who loved this craft so much that they figured out how to bring it to you um and she's doing it with beautiful legally licensed artwork this one is even though it's a big canvas it's a 70 by 70 it's not massive and it doesn't have a too too many colors in it so if you're somebody who struggles with working on those canvases that have 60, 70 colors in them, something like this might be right up your alley. I don't know if I pointed this out, but the canvas is um, branded at the top. Let's check out the sticky while we are here. I know it's sticky because I've worked on them. Yep. Um, you guys, I love this. She's so cute. Um, if I'm not mistaken, like I said earlier, I believe this is the last run she has with this manufacturer. Um... But check out what she has to offer. She has so many different canvases, so many different styles of artwork, and everything that she's offering is really, truly stunning. Um, I did Luna Galactic recently. Uh, if I haven't already linked that, I will link that one up in the eye for you guys. Um, but I hope that you guys enjoyed this. And I hope that you check her out. Please, please, please go, her sh go show her some love. Show her some support. Um, and that's it. That's all I got for you guys. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more videos like this or you know nothing like this at all please make sure to give this video two thumbs up one real life one virtual make sure you guys hit that subscribe button come join the sparkle squad and while you're there hit that notification bell mm. i do not operate under any sort of schedule i operate on toddler standard time and i record my tiny human is sleeping or sleeping thank you guys so much for being here and i'll see you on my next one p.s this would be a great canvas for alice no one to wonderland 2023 bye mm.